tired of those stubborn love handles? Let's dive into what they actually are and why they've earned a reputation for being so challenging to lose. Love handles, our less than lovable companions, are areas of fat that stubbornly sit around our abdomen. They're like uninvited guests at a party, resulting from our overindulgence in food. Yes, overeating can lead to fat storage in this area, making our midsection less than appealing, but why are they so hard to lose? Unlike other types of fat, love handles are particularly tenacious, clinging on for dear life even when we're trying our best to shake them off. This is because our bodies, in their infinite wisdom, often choose to store excess calories in this area, making it the last place to lose fat when we're cutting calories. Now here's the key. Achieving a sustainable calorie deficit is vital for consistent progress. This doesn't mean starving ourselves or going on a crash diet. It means creating a healthy balance between the calories we consume and the calories we burn. It's a journey that requires patience, consistency and a dash of determination. Yes, love handles can be stubborn, but they are not unbeatable. Let's learn how. According to professional trainers, nutritionists and dietitians, there's a four-step strategy to lose those love handles. Let's break this down, shall we? The first step is all about improving nutrition. This doesn't mean going on a crash diet that leaves you feeling miserable. Instead, it's about focusing on a balanced diet. Incorporating a variety of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains and more fibre into your meals can provide your body with the nutrients it needs to function optimally. And equally important is calorie reduction. But remember, this isn't about starving yourself. It's about creating a sustainable calorie deficit that allows for consistent progress over time. Moving on to step two, it's time to increase the size and width of your lats. You might be thinking, what do my lats have to do with love handles? Well, by increasing their size and width, you can create an illusion of a narrower waist. So don't skimp on those lat exercises. Also, ramp up the frequency of your abs training. This isn't about achieving six-pack abs overnight. Instead, it's about creating a visual distraction in the middle of your body. By consistently training your abs, you can make your waist appear smaller, taking the attention away from those stubborn love handles. It's also helpful to train your obliques. Your obliques are the muscles on the sides of your abdomen. By developing these muscles, you can create horizontal lines that contribute to a V-taper look. This can further enhance the illusion of a narrower waist and make those love handles less noticeable. Step three is cardio. It's the best way to burn calories and easy to start even if you're out of shape because you can just walk more each day. If you don't walk much, set a goal to walk 2,000 steps each day and use an app on your phone to keep track. Then work at steadily increasing your steps and set a goal of 10,000 steps per day. It's simple and easy to do and really burns the calories. Step four is overcoming your plateaus. When you lose weight, your body burns fewer calories, so your weight loss slows down. You may not see any weight loss for a week or two when this happens, but don't panic. You can fix this by slightly decreasing your calorie intake. Just by 100 calories a day is enough. Or increasing cardio by 20 or 30 minutes a week and you'll start losing again. So don't get discouraged if progress seems slow. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Consistent training and nutrition are key to achieving a narrower waistline and saying goodbye to love handles. So are you ready to ditch those love handles once and for all? Let's get to it. So what have we learned today about losing love handles? We've dug into the stubborn nature of love handles, that pesky fat that clings to our midsections. We've discovered that overeating can lead to these unwelcome additions and they're often stored around the abdomen. Our strategy? A sustainable calorie deficit is crucial. This allows for consistent, gradual progress in shedding those love handles. And remember, weight training comes with a bonus. It not only helps to increase muscle size but also prevents muscle loss while dieting. That's because when in a calorie deficit program, your body loses more muscle than fat. Weightlifting prevents this. We've also highlighted the benefits of cardio exercises like jogging or cycling and even the humble act of walking to burn calories and help create that essential calorie deficit. 
So implement this four-step strategy which proven to be so successful. Improve nutrition, increase the size and width of the lats. Train the abs more frequently to create a visual distraction. Develop the obliques to develop horizontal lines, up your cardio and adapt when you get stuck and your weight loss slows to a crawl. All these steps combined, with consistency and persistence, can help us conquer love handles. Start today and soon you'll see the results you desire. Thanks so much for watching and remember, keep working out so you can live long and strong.